hello I'm Karen and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the legs and sew those to the body I'll also um, show how to sew the head and the tail to the body okay so what I'm going to do is oh yeah just 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 if you haven't been watching how to do this stitch and um, please go and watch these little um, flower mushroom videos so that you can see how to do that okay right so you're going to need a needle your hook a pair of scissors um, actually I'm going to use this lighter blue yarn again just so that you can just I think it's easier to see the stitches okay so for this one what we're going to do is begin with the magic circle if you don't know how to do the magic circle then do a chain of two um, so I'm going to do a chain one and have that onto there and this is exactly the same beginning as all the other ones so we're working this single crochet if you're in the US or the double crochet if you're in the UK and we need to make eight stitches so I've done two three four five oops six seven and eight and then we're going to pull the tail in tight and we're going to slip stitch to join we're not going to do any chain um, for the next round so it's just going to just work straight into the next round and you work two single crochet or double crochet depending where you're from in every stitch all the way around so that you end up with a total of 16 so that's four six eight ten twelve fourteen and remember we're working into the slip stitch in every round with this particular pattern so we're going to do our last two stitches in there one and two so we've got our 16 stitches and then we slip stitch to join in the first single crochet or first double crochet to join then we're going to that gives us um, the nice flat base of the foot and then we're going to do a chain of one and we're doing the same stitch that I've been showing you so it's yarn over into the same stitch yarn over pull through put your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through three and then into the same stitch you've already worked and the next stitch along and you're just going to just do this same stitch all the way around so the end up with a total of 16 and then the next round after that is just um, the single crochet round and so you and then you just do this stitch again so you end up where you what you need to do is end up with three rounds um, of the 16 and you finish on the like the little puffy stitch and then you stuff it okay so that's that little bit done um sorry that was a four millimeter crochet hook for those of you that uh sorry <laughs> i'm getting the wrong tortoise so this is the one that we was working on before so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get the i'm going to get the tail to start off with um oops i've got lots of yarns there so when you normally finish you'll finish sort of at, like obviously at this point so then i made this go to the edge so that that's to one side I'm just going to just get my needle threaded there and then what I did to start off with is I just literally went in between so you're just going underneath the two loops of the stitches just to join this together so that the stuffing doesn't come out or anything while you're actually doing anything so that needs to be stitched um, in this way like this and uh, and just match your stitches up just so that it's just all nice and closed together and by the way I only stuffed it to like very loosely just to this just so that it's just got that bit of um, character to it but not an overly big piece okay so then I've got to the end stitch there and then I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use so this very so this row here that you've got where you can see you've the very final row you've got like this line there so what you're going to do is you're going to get the tail you want it to, you want it to go this way around you want it to be sticking it out of the actual tortoise so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your through your stitches and then literally just go under this bit here and doing I think this is called a whip stitch where you do this and uh, where you just go 
over and you just literally work it into the tops of these stitches you don't need to be overly neat with this one it's very forgiving because you're using the actual the same color yarn and you're just working over some stitches that's already been worked so it's just really really nice and easy to sew it's not complicated like some of the other amigurumi and um, you need to be really really careful with what you're actually doing so there we go so that's really quick and easy um, and I've just done one row of stitching on this one I'm just going to just tuck that stitch in there because I think that's sticking out just a little bit and then what you can do is you can actually just you can come back so that you've got that double strength for your stitches just to make sure that you know that your tail is not going to be coming off anytime soon and also it gives you the chance to be able to just tuck that tail that side of the tail in as well so that's all I've done for that one there and then get that one there just so that that's into place there and one more stitch I think and then what I did with my tail ends is I literally wove it into the actual tail itself and just came out the opposite side oops a daisy just there and then I just decided to just go back again just so that I've got a more equal looking tail and that's how easy it is to actually add the tail there and that just gives the tail so it just gives it a little bit of bounce <laughs> um, so obviously on the opposite end of the tail is where we need to add the add the head so here's the wonky eyes one that I was making when I was doing the video um, I did that the other day <laughs> I decided that I was going to give in that day and not do any more, more recording because I was having such a strange day um, so for this one what I want to do is just want to just make sure that the end is sewn up but you've got to be careful because that's you're finishing in the middle so you want to just come across and just do a couple of stitches just to hold that um, stuffing into place so I'm going to just, now I'm going to just come back where I've already sewn and then come back to there like that okay and then before you actually <clears throat> so we want to so obviously this is going to be upside down so we want to make sure that the smile is facing towards you so that you make sure that obviously when you tip it over the head is actually going to be in the right place so with the head I did the same sort of thing so I went to this section here where I've shown you how to do this one um, and to go through these actual parts here you want to try and make your head be as central as possible but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's just a little um, character that you're making so you can have it to one side if you want to um, and it's, I say it's your choice really but I tried to make mine as be as, as central as I could on the other ones there that stitch is not very tight is it I can see that one quite there there just do that better and then there so this is going to actually get the head attached to the body now and if you was listening to my other videos I said to you the head ended up being a bit floppy so I'm just going to show with you how I tried to overcome that so at the moment the head's just like really floppy yeah so what I did is I then went into these parts of the stitches and then came up into the actual um, shell of the body okay so you're going to go through the actual meat <laughs> meat of the head <laughs> for a want of word I don't know how to describe that but the main section of that bit and then just come back and make sure you go back through into the actual head I hope that this has been you can see it all right I'm sure you can and then work along and go into this section there and back into the oops sorry <laughs> it's really awkward to show up about this to be fair and then back into the actual head and into the shell section of there make sure that's nice and tight and then come back Ooh, there we go and go back into the actual shell section again just going to push that over there 
so the head still is quite floppy but it's not as bad and it does give you that maneuverability if you really want to what you can do let's just put this stitch back through there so you can put your stitch into the actual head itself and then come into so I'm going to come sort of there and then actually come into this section of the actual shell there and then you can lift the head if you were actually if you wanted to actually have it so this is actually sticking up a little bit higher and um, I quite like that actually so but you've got to be careful that you keep this this stitching really tight because you're going to end up with this um, tail bit sticking there okay so I'm just going to just do that and see if I can pull that nice and tight and then come the opposite side of the shell and come out through there and pull that in so it is going to it is actually pulling you can see that that's pulling actually into the shell making a little bit of an indentation but it does actually help the head stay up that little bit higher I'm just going to leave that one like that and just tuck this tail end in so that's this individual looking as it is so you can sit and practice with yours and do your stitching where you want and take your time obviously I'm doing mine quicker because I'm in a video so so that makes the head actually stand up better and it's not made too much of a difference if you actually look at the overall shape of the actual shell so now we're going to do the legs I'm just going to just add one leg on because honestly I think that to sit and add all of the legs would be way too long um, of a video but we'll see how we get on okay so and I think this tail end's actually a little bit long to be fair so I'm just going to just cut off a bit of my yarn there we go right so I hope that I can see this right so what I did is I so on my first one I made the mistake of having because you have actually got like a join area and I had that to the outside the easiest way to do it so you're going to get you want the leg to be roughly central with this line here so you want to I just rested it into place and then you go so you're going into like this part of your stitch underneath there okay and let's just rest that back there so I want my leg to sit quite closely to that shell when I've actually finished if you can see that so I just put the the needle straight into the work and came straight out right near the actual edge of the shell okay and then to make sure that the, because you can see obviously that's flopping now so what I did is so the opposite side we're going to get one of these stitches and we're going to just put it into the same space so we're pulling the actual leg to where we want it to be and then you sort of work a bit like doing a clock so if you're doing that opposite sections so I'm going to come out at what effectively so if this was 12 o'clock this would be three o'clock and then so my tail ends come out and then I'm going to get one of the stitches and then you pull it slightly so that otherwise it's like you'd, it had entered all scrunched in so you're going to get one of the stitches pull it over oops into where you've you've been and then come out on the opposite side so then effectively that'd be like going to six o'clock if you understand what I'm trying to explain and then what I did then so I've come out there and now I'm going to get part of the leg again and pull it again go into the work and then now you're sort of doing because we want to do the in-between section so I'm going to come out just about here I don't know if you can see the needle there you go there just going to just I've got it's gone double your um there we go and then you get this one so you sort of each time you do a stitch you're sort of coming out to the opposite sections to where you want to actually be so you're going to pick up each stitch as you actually go around and so we're going to pick it up careful of that stuff in there I don't want to bring the stuff in with me there and then put that in so it's holding it into place and as you and as you work you can see where there's a stitch that's not finish so as you so now you can see we've got this gap so we've still got like a stitch there to do so we're going to pick up a stitch there and then go into the body she says I didn't quite do that right and then and I'm going to come across over to this section here now so you just sort of keep working around and then I'm going to get this one and then pull that past where I've actually come out with my tail end so this section's all stitched up there. I've got a stitch that needs to be done there. So I'm going to come out over here. 
and then I'm going to get this one and I'm going to pull this over to this section and I've actually still got another stitch to do there so I'm actually going to do like a close a bit now and go into there and pull that to where my stitches have come out I've still got a stitch to do in that area so and you just work around the legs in that way so now I do believe oh no we've got one more stitch there to do look because it effectively you've only got your 16 stitches to really catch hold of to make sure that they're all sewn into place We've got one there. I'm saying this because of the way that you've actually created with the um, the two post design, it's really forgiving for the stitches. You don't have to really worry. It's, it's not. So looking at that, looks like I've got all of the stitches. They've all all been attached. So it's nice and secure now. So then all I've been doing is, uh, so you can either pull the tail end and, and just get your hook and pull it into the body or you can actually just sew it into the actual leg itself just so that you're hiding the tail end and then you just cut that off like that and so then where you've got, now you've got three more sections left of this size so you're just going to do the same thing so that you end up obviously with the four legs in place to make the your actual tortoise stand up and I know that when this one stands up this one's going to have its head its head sticking up in the air which I quite like that one I might actually amend this one and actually add the extra stitching to make those ones stand up better because I do actually think that looks like a nicer finish because it's looking up smiling at you <laughs> very nice and happy so there you go that's um I do hope that that made sense I hope that you was able to see everything properly okay so um, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't been and watched how to do the little flowery mushroom ones, because these are the food for the tortoises, so um, whatever colour um, the shell is for your tortoise, you can make that. If you want to make them separately, you can also do that so that they make a lovely little hat as well for your tortoise, okay? And I think that's everything, so thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, and bye for now.